In previous sessions, we've looked at pulley systems where we could attach the travelling pulleys directly to the load. In this session, we're going to look at what we can do if that's not practicable. So in this scenario, we've got a rope connected to a load that's way down there. We don't have much room to build a pulley system here, but we can run our pulley system back this way to our anchor over here and we can haul from that position. So we're going to take our rope up, we'll run it through a pulley. This pulley is often referred to as a directional pulley. We can run from that pulley back over to a stationary pulley that's connected to our anchor. And then we can run that rope forwards. Now we need to attach a travelling pulley and that travelling pulley usually connects to the load. But it wouldn't be practical for us to run the rope through another directional down to a pulley connected to the load back up to a third directional for us to haul. We'd have way too much equipment and sometimes way too much rope. So let's get rid of these two pulleys. We're going to attach our travelling pulley to this rope right here because this rope is connected directly to the load and if we haul up on here we'll pull the load up. So we've attached a device to the rope to allow us to connect the travelling pulley to that rope. Now essentially this point here becomes the load point and it's connected directly to the load. So as we haul up on that rope our load comes up. As we get to here we see that our pulley system is collapsing and that's fully collapsed there. This is al also referred to as two block or chocker block. The issue is our pulley system's collapsed and our load hasn't made it to the top yet. So we need to have some ability to grab that rope to allow us to reset our pulley system. So I've attached a second device onto the line directly behind this grab. And that'll allow us to push this grab forwards. Now I want to talk briefly about these two devices. This position here is often referred to as a haul cam or a haul grab. This one back here, a brake cam or a brake grab. It's also referred to as a ratchet or a progress capture device. Now the selection of these two devices has been debated over the years. There's been a lot of discussion as to what you should or should not use in these two positions. Now my best advice to you is to seek advice from your trainer. Refer to your company's policies and procedures and make sure you use what's been approved for your application. So we can reset that pulley system now. And we can haul that load up further. We should be able to haul that up till you get the load all the way to the top. Now we've built a system here to lift a load. We've also got the ability to lower that load a short distance. But to lower the load, I need to go up slightly to release this cam and then I can lower that load. So I can lower the load a short distance. I can do a reverse reset. and go again. That's okay for short distances, for down, but if I wanted to go a long distance I'd probably replace this with some other device. So we've removed our stationary pulley, and we've also removed our brake cam, and we've added the sender into our system. So as we haul up on that load, the rope will still run through, and it'll capture the progress as we go. The difference is now, is we can use this device to lower the load. And we can lower that load a fair distance. If we remove our haul cam and our pulley, we can lower that load all the way back to the bottom. Now the issue with putting a descender in place of a stationary pulley is this isn't a pulley. So we don't get the mechanical advantage that we got before because this doesn't rotate. Unless you go to a device like a, an MPD. Now the MPD has a bearing sheave inside there. So if we haul up on this, we can see that runs through nice and smooth. And I get the same mechanical advantage as I had before. 
and now I have the ability to lower that load. And I can lower that load all the way down. Again, if we remove the hall cam and the pulley, we can take that load all the way to the bottom. So if we have a look at our pulley system and try and work out what it is, let's look firstly, is it simple? Well, as I haul up on here, the traveling pulley is moving at the same speed and the same direction as the load. So it's simple. If we consider this as the load, we have three parts of rope supporting that load. So we have a simple three to one. So if we found that a three to one wasn't enough to haul that load up smoothly, we, might, we would have to increase the mechanical advantage. So let's change this three to one into a simple five to one. So to do that, we're going to introduce a double sheave pulley. So is it still simple? We have two traveling sheaves there, two traveling pulleys, and they're going to be moving at the same speed and in the same direction as the load. And we have five parts of rope now supporting our load. So we now have a simple five to one. So I hope this information has been useful. Thanks for watching.